to have with us Dr. Narendra Bhandari, who is the former chairman of Planetary Sciences and the Exploration Division of ISRO. Thank you so much, sir, for waiting rather patiently, listening to what Dr. Selva Mohiti has had to say. He's, of course, uh, you know, given quite the comprehensive ex explanation of the health challenges uh, that uh, Sunita Williams and Butch Woolmore might have faced in microgravity conditions. He's also, um, you know, showcased a little roadmap of what can we expect over the next 45 days in the medical treatment that's going to take place of the astronauts who have returned. There are, of course, a lot of health concerns, baby feet being one of them. Um, their their uh, vision is another. Uh, their blood pressure, their bone density is a third. Uh, but I want to understand from you in particular, uh, what can we and ISRO in particular learned from this mission, you know, Dr. V. Narayanan in a tweet today has um, made it very clear that we will be reaching out to Sunita Williams for her expertise on human spaceflight. We have a very ambitious mission that's going to take place next year. But before that, uh, the Axiom mission with the group captain uh, Shubhanshu Shukla will also be headed to the ISS. It will be headed in a, a SpaceX Dragon capsule, the same capsule that uh, took the crew 10 and brought back crew 9. So what can we uh, learn? Uh, what what leaf can we take out from NASA's uh, playbook and what can we apply? With this uh, safe return of uh, Sunita Williams and Wilmore is a great joyous moment for uh, us, uh, personally for me because I met her a few times and uh, when she was here and we had a lot of children interact with her and um, I have met uh, many astronauts um, in Houston, uh, right from uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and uh, Mitchell, and so on. Uh, and also, I met many astronauts uh, when we had the 50th anniversary of uh, Yuri Gagarin's thing in UNESCO. But I find uh, Sunita Williams is the toughest of all as far as tolerance goes. I, I think uh, she can tolerate all this and has gone through. But the uh, most amazing thing is, uh, what we learned from here is that the space travel has come to an age, a maturity, where we can take risks, we can uh, um, solve problems which arise, all exigencies. And uh, a human being, uh, it shows the capability. You know, what was amazing is that uh, she was not disturbed. Actually, we on Earth were more disturbed about her than she was. She was always happy. Uh, uh, last time, um, not on this trip, but last time when she was uh, in space, I, I talked to her through this, uh, uh, what you call, bridge uh, over Italy. And she's always happy, you know. I mean, that shows the greatness of a person, the strength of her personality. That to happen what may, she's always active, working, happy, talking nicely. And that is the great strength of human being that one can. So uh, I see this as a, a great future for space, space travel, uh, not only because it has become mature and we can take care of any problems which arise, but also because uh, we can stretch uh, human tolerance to its limit and still survive. So, uh, these are big lessons for uh, our future space travels. Actually, when she was here last time, I showed her the Chandrayaan 1 model, which uh, we yeah, had we built. We are flashing that picture on air. We are showing that to our viewers, your pictures with Sunita Williams. The fact that you were showing her the Chandrayaan module, you were interacting with her. It's currently on air right now. So, what are your memories of that interaction? Yeah, actually, she is a source of a big inspiration for all of us particularly young children who might go in space in future. I expect that all those people whom, uh, you know, we had a buses load of uh, children, school children from Gujarat coming and talking to her at uh, Science City when she was here uh, one time. And uh, the other thing, we held uh, a meeting with some 900 children at, uh, you know, Rajasthan school, Hindi school school. Uh, in Ahmedabad, I had organized a meeting with her question and answer uh, session. So I, I um, was coordinator for that. So what I say is that these children who interacted with her, uh, will some of them will have chance to go to space, I'm sure. And uh, this will always act as a, you know, as a 
um, lighthouse of inspiration uh, for space travel. Uh, it shows that human beings can not only physiological and psychological stress, but uh, it, it is the motivation of doing something new, something great that keeps you know them uh, uh, so happy and uh, uh, you, you know this is uh, something uh, which we must learn because uh, here on earth actually we were praying uh, of our safe return and you know sh there were many glitches she was coming and then not mm -hmm. coming and again coming and not coming uh, but uh, you know she was always happy i mean I, I have rarely seen such a person so i say she is the one of the best astronauts we have and we are proud of her and uh, she will soon recover i'm sure in, in the next few months and uh, i i think she she has shown the way how space travel must be done how things can be handled how experiments can be conducted and uh, i think there's a great Narin, leadership Narin, quality he, yes uh, he carried the bhagavad gita book as well as the ganesh symbol so that spiritual component also gives that reason to the person i just wanted to supplement what you said i i fully <laughs> agree with you it is not only physiologic <laughs> Spiritual. It is spiritual, yeah. which is more important. Actually, that is the source of all this strength. Absolutely. To, to go through all this agony. I mean, anybody else would have, you know, uh, um, worried about this. <laughs> so, this is a great joyous moment for some of us who met her and interacted with her. And I am sure for all those uh, thousands of children who were with me when we talked to her. And I think ISRO has, uh, as uh, Dr. Selva Murthy has said, a lot of lessons to learn. Uh, doing experiments is one thing, but uh, doing it properly in space and getting good results is quite another, uh, you know, uh, thing. And I think she conducted everything amicably, very, very, you know, courageous uh, lady she has. And I think I'll always remember her uh, this trip. Uh, which will, for many years, will be, you know, um, uh, a source of inspiration to all of us. Indeed. Uh, we also have with us on the broadcast another very special guest joining us this afternoon.